He said, I have five kids. This man, like, first of all, my first impression, like, he don't even know their ages. Because he was like, 11, 4. He paused. He said, two twos and a newborn. <laughs> Leaving me, dipping up on me. Learned yourself through me Already Gave you what you needed, I guess Again. Hey guys, good morning Today is March 30th And um, your girl is on her way to the gym It is currently 9am I just dropped Dream off to school And we're gonna do um, At least 30 minutes Probably 30 to 45 minutes on the treadmill today I just wanted to switch it up today and do something a little different. Um, guys, you know what I realized? All right, so you guys know that a few um, weeks ago, I lost 14 pounds in seven days. But within those seven, I mean, within those 14 pounds, I gained some pounds back. So right now, I'm currently 195. So I guess I gained like seven pounds back. So basically, I'm still down seven pounds, but I gained seven back. So I'm not like I'm not a hundred percent mad about that because I know what I was doing to gain the seven pounds back. And plus, I was I, I had completely stopped eating carbs. Not completely because I was still eating the protein bar, but I had like drastically stopped eating the um the carbs. So I started eating carbs again. So I knew once I started eating carbs again, I was going to gain some weight back. So basically, I gained half the weight back. So what we're going to do this time, instead of completely cutting out the carbs, we're just going to eat low carbs. And we're going to work out and, you know, you know. So that's how it's going to go, guys. Because I don't want to keep losing, like, a lot of weight. 14 pounds is a lot of pounds in one week just to turn around and gain it back when I start eating carbs. So I feel like if I'm eating low carbs and I lose the weight, I'm fine, you know? So we're going to try that. And we're just going to keep pushing, guys. Like, we're really just going to keep pushing or whatever. And after I leave the gym, I'm going straight to the car place to get my oil changed because I was supposed to get my oil changed last week the week before last and so forth and so forth so we're definitely doing that today i'm gonna go to this um express oil place and hopefully they can do it hopefully they're not crowded and um yeah guys i already paid my ticket off i paid my ticket off on monday that ticket that i got so i paid that off on monday um i forgot what date that was the 27th is that the eighth or not yeah, the twenty Monday the twenty seventh because today is Thursday the thirtieth. So yeah, I paid it off on Monday. So I guess I wait for a paper in the mail or whatever, whatever they're gonna do. I don't know, but that's done. So today we're just gonna get our oil change. And um, yesterday I was talking to you guys about getting another iPhone. And while after I stop recording and I'm driving to work, I'm like, I still gotta get my oil change. That's like one something. I'm like, girl, just hold off on the iPhone, just relax or whatever. Like, you know, so I'm going to hold off for a little bit, probably like a couple more weeks. And then we're going to go from there. I'll figure it out in a couple more weeks if I'm going to get the um, iPhone after Easter. But yeah, guys, so I still have to go um, and find something for the kids for Easter. So I might do that this weekend. Nothing major, just something for them to throw on. And hopefully, um, you take them somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to take them somewhere or their father's going to take them somewhere. I don't know. But we're going to see. You know, we're going to see. Just get them a quick little outfit, take some pictures or whatever. But, all right, guys. I'll see you guys when I get in the gym. As long as you got your eyes, got your trippy on them private dress, taking trips, come back at six, wake me and your child. And then won't lay today, make me wonder who. Playing with makes me wonder who you think 
Right, guys so we are done i did 30 minutes in the gym i did 15 minutes on the treadmill and then i did 15 minutes of two different um leg um exercise so now we're on our way to the car place express oil so we can get our oil change i was about to get my oil change like in february but I didn't do it. So we doing it today, guys. And I have to stop at the hair store to get some more. Um, got to be glue spray, some edge, um, um, edge control, and a, um, a edge band. So you guys are hanging with me today until it's time for me to go to work. So after I do all of these errands, I'm gonna go in the house and um, drink me some iced coffee, make me some breakfast, and then take a shower and then just relax. And that will be done for today. We're gonna relax until it's time to pick Dream up and then we're gonna head to work. Unless I find something in the house to do and you know, but I cleaned my room yesterday. I should have cleaned it with y'all, but I didn't. So I cleaned my room yesterday, decluttered my room yesterday. And um, that's all I did. Yeah, that's all I did. So I have a piece of fried chicken in my refrigerator. So I'm thinking about making some eggs and a little bit of uh, potatoes and eating the chicken. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Eggs, chicken, and um, fries. <laughs> so that's the plan for breakfast, y'all. With my iced coffee. I have a whole bottle of water, but I haven't touched it yet. Oh, yeah, and I need to take my vitamins and my blood pressure pills. The whole time... I the whole time I was in the gym, guys, I did not touch that water. Like, my mouth didn't get dry or anything, so that's why I ain't touch it. But I'm about to, yo, when I say I'm about to go try to slay these edges and tighten this up, because, ugh. This here is so bushy. I need to um spray it down with some water. I'm not going to put no more. I already put, um leaving conditioner in it i'm not putting no more so i'm just gonna go in the house tackle my edges probably take my um straighten the comb flatten the top some more wet this brush this out and that's that so i'll see you guys when we get to express oil you Oh, 
So guys, I'm in a um in the line to get a car wash. You get a free car wash with your oil change. Last time I got my oil change, I had a free car wash, but it was like winter, so I was like, forget it. But now it's spring, so I'm just gonna wait in this line get my car wash. I'm so excited. I haven't had my car wash in like a few months, so yeah. And it's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be like 64 tomorrow, which is Friday. And Saturday it's supposed to be 70. So my car is gonna be nice, fresh, and clean. I'ma um I got all this cleaning supplies in my um glove department. So after they do my car wash, when I get home, I'ma do a little inside cleaning of my car or whatever. So yeah, guys, I'm so excited. But I'll see you guys um when I get home. Blank Beats Production. Josh P, what are you doing? Hey guys, so we finished running our errands and I am on my way home. But I had to stop, guys. I got my um my got to be glue spray and all that stuff. And I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and got me an iced coffee because your girl is starving. Plus, I forgot that I ran out of coffee creamer. And I need to get some for tomorrow and the other days that's coming. But I was craving it so bad that I had to just stop and get one right now. But guys. I want to talk to you guys about um, the first two episodes I saw of um, Queen's Court with Tamar Braxton, Evelyn Lozada, and Nivea. Oh my God. Can I say I am loving that show? I am loving this show. They made it so interesting and fun. Like, oh my God. Like, I love Evelyn Lozada. Like, when I say I love her, like, I've been loving her ever since Basketball Wives. But to see her growth and to see, like, you know, to actually see her back on TV is like, oh, my God. Like, she really, like, really, 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 truly mature. She always been beautiful, you know. And I was just like, oh, my God, that's my girl. Like, I really love her. And then... I really got the chance to love Tamar Braxton. Like, is what? I can go? Uh, I really got the chance to love Tamar Braxton as well. Like, yeah, on her show, she seemed it all rally and stuff like that. But she really is like, I don't know. Like, it's like these women is really bringing their A game. Tamar is so beautiful. I would, I just like, I just kept looking at Tamar like she is so beautiful. Like, and despite anything, what people think about her, you do, she do deserve to be happy, you know. And I hope this guy, I guess, like, cause I heard that she was engaged to one of the guys, so I ain't get that far yet, though. But I hope this guy is really, truly like good for her. Like, they just seem like they were just so happy, like they having fun, and it's like. The only thing about the show that I kind of, like, don't really, like, dig a little bit, but I want to tune in more to is Niv Nivea. Nivea, she's a beautiful woman, but she just seemed thirsty. Like, she really seemed real thirsty. She, like, I, like, all right, I'm a type of, I'm a type of woman, like, I'm not overly sexually. Like, you get what I'm saying? I'm not over sexually. And Evelyn give me... Evelyn, she's overly sexy, sexually or whatever, but she don't act it. Like, it's hard to explain. Like, all right, to me, Evelyn say little slick, little freaky stuff, but she don't give me the vibe where though she, like, just be doing too much. Nivea... She just seemed like she just like, she just with it. Like, you know, like she just with it. She don't care. She just with it. And I really don't like, I really don't, personally me, I don't like hot pocket fast girls. 
and Nivea like coming off like that to me or whatever. But overall, I love the show. I watched two episodes. I'm about to go in the house, eat my breakfast, watch the third episode. And if it's a fourth one, I might watch the fourth one if I got time. But the, the show is, I mean, the episode is like an hour long. And they are very interesting. Like, it's so fun. Like, new men keep coming in. And old men getting jealous. Like, it's so fun. But the part that gets me the most is when it's time for elimination. I, like, almost know who's about to get eliminated. And this one guy, he didn't get eliminated yet. But I keep saying, like, the very first episode, I was like, he getting eliminated. But he didn't get eliminated. So I was like, oh, okay. But I see why they not eliminating him. But it's like, all right. And the second time, I thought, I'm like, he ain't going to get eliminated this time. Because it was two, it was other people that I knew was going to get eliminated. So I knew he wasn't going to get eliminated this time. But he keep getting there to the elimination spot. Like, he get, keep getting there. Because he got to bring some more. Like, you know, but overall, guys, that is a great show. And I can't wait to finish out the season. And I can't wait to see the next set of girls that's going to come on. Like, it's like, I love this show. So, like, it's on Peacock, y'all. And my friend gave me her, um, her, um, password and, um, username and password so I can watch it. Because if not, I wasn't going, I wasn't going to, ain't no parking spot. I cannot park. I just got a car wash, y'all. And I refuse to park on my side of the street. The bird's going to poop on my car. But anyway, so yeah, guys, so what I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. Oh my God, that's bad. I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, guys, oh, I think I was saying that I'm going to go ahead and watch it and, you know, and see, like, I want to get further and deep into it, like... I don't know. I just love it. <laughs> I really love that show. Like, and I knew I was going to love it because I love me some Evelyn. Like, I really love me some Evelyn. But it's like, you know how when people, you so used to a person being on TV, then when they not on TV no more, you be like, you don't be knowing really nothing about them. I mean, I could follow on social media, but social media is not the same as TV, seeing them get dressed up and seeing like what they're doing it's like it's different social media just a picture i mean you got little video clips now but i don't know so it's like i like i lost a little interest because of she wasn't on tv anymore but baby i'm like oh yeah my girl evelyn lozada look at my hair y'all horrible but let me get in this house and i'll talk to you guys when i get in this house so guys we are in the house it's iced coffee. It's everything. But like I was saying earlier, um, I got some. I got a piece of fried chicken in there. I'm about to make some French fries a little bit, and I'm gonna make um like two eggs. So that's that's gonna be like my brunch basically because it's twelve. I was outside for three hours, but I got a lot done today, guys, and I'm so happy that I got a lot done. Um. So, I'm about to go, um, I got my oil on. Once I put my french fries in, I'm trying to think, should I eat first, then, then get in the shower, or should I get in the shower and then eat? Yeah, because I think I want to eat while I'm, um, watching my show. But I'm so high. I'm so excited. Y'all got to check it out. Oh, I remember what I was saying. So I was saying, basically, I got my friend pass, um, username and password. And um, so I can just watch it. Like, you know, uh, I didn't want to pay for the subscription just in case, you know, I just be like, I don't want it no more. So I, and they didn't have like no free trial or anything. So she gave me her password, which was nice. So I'm going to continue watching it. And, um, I guess I just keep you guys updated. Um, even though I'm late and I'm already mad because I know who Evelyn chose. I knew who Tamar Braxton chose, you know, but it's still fun seeing the process. Like, but anyway, guys, let me go wash up and, um, I'll be back. 
So, all right, guys, I am fresh out the sh um, shower and my food is done. So, let me show you my food and then I'm going to get back into Queen's Court. We're going to episode three. So, let me show you all my food. So, we have a leftover pizza for our chicken. I made some french fries and two eggs with cheese. We have some barbecue sauce, some honey and hot sauce on our chicken and my iced coffee. So, let me get back into my show. See y'all guys <laughs> i had to pause the show real quick just to come tell y'all i bust out laughing so i'm on the third episode and tamar is like interviewing this guy or whatever is one of the newcomers oh my god so you know they asking people like how old are you how many kids you have there's one guy, <laughs> he said, she said, how many kids you have? He said, I have five kids. She said, how old are they? This man, like, first of all, my first impression, like, he don't even know their ages. Because he was like, 11, 4, he paused, he said, two twos. And a newborn. <laughs> Yo, men are crazy. Let me get back into my show. Hey, guys. So, it's about 3 p.m. And your girl is in here chefing it up. I'm making some um, curry chicken, cabbage, and rice. I want to show you guys because it looks so delicious. <laughs> 